Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Teamwork. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Teamwork works. So, if you have no idea about Teamwork and how to get started, then this video is for you. Teamwork is a powerful project management tool designed to help you and your team stay organized and productive. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of using Teamwork from creating projects and tasks to integrating with other apps. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Teamwork tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you'll have a link down below in the description. Teamwork has a free trial to start with, and it's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step. First, click on the Start a Free Trial button. The best part is that you don't need to enter your credit card information for the trial. When signing up, you will have two options, sign up with Google account or sign up with email. After signing up, you need to set up your Teamwork account. Start by selecting the sector of your company, the people in your company, and your role in your company from the drop-down menu. You also need to provide the name of your company before clicking on the Continue button. Next, provide more information about your company. Teamwork asks you to select from the given options what you want to do with your team, and then you can click Continue. After providing all the necessary information, it's time to set up your first project. Simply write the name of your project and click on Continue. Add the tasks you want to do in this project and click on Continue. You also need to select the view for your project, which includes the table view, board view, and list view. Once you have selected your desired view, click on Continue. Finally, you need to invite your teammates to your project by entering their emails and clicking on Continue. You can also skip this option for now if you prefer. Once you have completed these steps, you will be taken to your dashboard. So here we are in my Teamwork account. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Teamwork and then I will show you how we can use Teamwork. The dashboard in Teamwork is a central hub where you can access all the important features and tools of the platform. The left navigation panel is located on the left side of the dashboard, and it includes a variety of options such as the Quick Add button, Home, Search, Projects, Templates, Timesheets, and more options. Here you can also add your team. At the bottom left corner, there is your profile section. The Quick Add button on the left navigation panel allows you to create tasks, start timers, long time, message, event, milestone, create projects, and invite people. This is a convenient feature that helps you quickly add new items to your workflow. The Home section of the dashboard is where you can view all of your work, including your projects, activity, inbox, and custom dashboards. This section gives you a comprehensive view of everything that's happening in your workflow. The Search function allows you to search for everything, including your tasks, projects, milestones, people, notebooks, messages, and links. This is a useful tool for quickly finding what you need in the platform. The Jump To section is where you can view all of your favorites, including your recent and starred items. This section helps you quickly access the items you use the most. The Projects section of the dashboard displays a list of all of your active projects and templates. You can also create new projects by clicking on the Add Project button. The Templates section allows you to create new projects using pre-built templates. You can also view your task list templates in this section. The Timesheets section enables you to record the amount of time you spend working on different tasks or projects. It helps you better organize your work week by giving you a clear overview of how much time you've allocated to each task and project. This way you can prioritize your tasks and ensure that you're using your time effectively. Select the More option three dots, to access additional site-level areas. The areas accessible via this More menu will depend on your user permissions and can include Everything. The Everything area allows you to view all items within projects on your site. Reports. The Reports area includes a variety of different reporting options. The reports available to you will depend on your subscription and permissions. Calendar. View your upcoming events as well as tasks and milestones for the period. View upcoming tasks, milestones, and events from within the calendar view. Forms. Quick links to the published versions of existing forms on your projects. 
The Add Your Team section allows you to add your teammates to your projects by inviting them. Finally, the Profile section is where you can manage your profile information, subscription, tasks, apps, and integrations. This section is where you can make changes to your account and personalize your workflow management experience in Teamwork. Now, creating a project in Teamwork is a simple process that involves a few steps. The first step is to click on the plus quick add button located in the left navigation panel of your Teamwork dashboard. Next, select project to launch the project creation wizard. Then choose start from scratch and click next step to move to the next page. On this page, you will need to enter the name of your project and select your company. You also have the option to add a description for your project. Once you have filled in the necessary details, click Next Step to proceed to the next page where you can add more details. Next, add people and teams to the project. You can scroll down the user list to select a project owner. Once you have selected the owner, click on Next Step. Here you can add a category and tag for your project to help you organize it. Once you have filled in all the details, click on Create Project to complete the project creation process. After creating the project, you will need to add tasks to it. To do this, click on Create a Task List. This will open up the Task List window, where you can enter the name of the task list and add any relevant notes. You also have the option to use a template to create your task list. Once you have entered all the necessary details, click Add Task List to add the task list to your project. Now you can create a task by clicking plus add a task button. Here you can add the details like what needs to be done, assign the task to your team, add a description, start date, due date, import files, tags, and more. Then click create task. Integrating teamwork with other applications can be a great way to streamline your workflow and increase productivity. Fortunately, integrating teamwork with other apps is an easy process. To get started, simply navigate to the Profile section at the bottom left corner of your dashboard and click on it. From there, select Apps and Integrations to be taken to the Teamwork Integration page. On the Integrations page, you will see a variety of apps to choose from, including popular options like QuickBooks, Doc Editor, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Next to each app, there is an Enable button. To integrate a specific app with Teamwork, simply choose the desired app and click on Enable. Once you click the Enable button, the app will ask you for authorization. This is a security measure to ensure that only authorized users are able to integrate with Teamwork. Once you authorize the app, it will be integrated with your Teamwork account. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Teamwork. There are more things to learn about Teamwork, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot. Thank you! So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and